Good morning. Um, today I'm going to work on a related rates problem. And I've already kind of drawn a little picture here, but let me read the problem and I'm going to uh, post the text on the video so you'll be able to read it throughout. Um, a light is at the top of a 16 foot pole. So I have this light here and I don't have yellow. So anyway, but this uh, distance right here is 16 feet. And uh, a woman, five feet tall, walks away from the pole at a rate of four feet per second. So uh, this person, in this case it's a young woman, uh, is five feet tall. So this distance is five feet. And uh, she's moving at a rate towards, uh, oh, actually, she walks away from the pole at a rate of, uh, what is it, four feet per second. So pictures and it's, and then they ask us at what rate is the length of her shadow changing? So what we use here is uh, usually we say we want three things. We want an equation that relates all the things that we're talking about. We want to know what we're given, and that will we'll be able to label that a little bit better when we have the equation. And then we want to know what we want to find. And then, of course, once we get all those things in place, we take the derivative with respect to time of uh, both sides of the equation, and uh, we solve and uh, solve for the derivative usually. So, what I have here, and what we know, and this is a pretty common problem, is, is why I chose it. If you notice, uh, this light, and I'm going to have to make uh, my triangles are right but anyway it makes it it makes a triangle uh, with the tip of her shadow this would be her shadow right here and let's uh let's call that that length uh, of her shadow what do you want to call it we'll call it um, let's call it X and then we'll we'll call the entire length that uh, from the tip of her shadow Actually, what is it? No, we're asking how 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 fast the length of her shadow is is changing. So we're looking for we're looking for the rate at which x is changing uh, with respect to time, and we know what rate that this distance is changing. Right here, we'll call it. Let's just call it y. We know what that what at what rate that's changing. It's uh, changing at a rate of four feet per second. So we can actually say, um, I'm trying to think if I want to have the equation first. Uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and give the given first because sometimes the equation in this particular uh, problem is, is kind of tricky for people. Uh, although if you've had geometry recently, it probably isn't. Um, but anyway, uh, so we'll say that we're given dy dt, the rate at which this distance between the pole and the woman is changing is four feet per second. Uh, the distance is getting greater, so we say that, that her rate is positive, uh, otherwise it would be negative if we were getting closer. Um, and we want to find the rate at which her shadow is, length of her shadow is changing, so the length that, the rate at which x is changing, so that's dx dt. And now we need an equation that relates all these things together. Well, if you look here, maybe it's apparent to you, but we have a, a, we have a triangle, a little triangle inside of a large triangle, and we can make a relationship with that. We could call, we, we actually, because of that, we can say these are similar triangles. Uh, they don't have to be that way, but in this case, we we say that they're similar triangles, and we have a uh, we can set up a proportion for that. So our equation is going to be. Uh, and you can actually set this up any way you want to, as long as the proportion is correct and the relations is, is correct. I like to say, you know, the height over the height, so 16 over 5, and that is equal to the proportion of the large distance. And what is the large distance? Well, it's y plus x over the uh, little distance because that relates to the 5 which is just x so that's our equation right there um, we can uh, before we uh, derive we can change that equation a little bit uh, cross multiply and you get 16x uh, equals 5y plus 
5x, getting all x's on one side, we get 11x equals uh, 5y. Now we take the derivative with respect to t of both sides, so we want d dt of 11x equals d dt of 5y. The derivative with respect to t of 11x, the derivative of 11x is just 11. Uh, the derivative of with respect to t is just dx dt. And we're uh, deriving implicitly. Um, same difference here, the derivative of 5y is just 5 times dy dt. And now I look at see what I what did I want? Well, I wanted dx dt, so I'll solve for dx dt. And dx dt, oh, don't know why that's there. dx dt equals 5 over 11 times dy dt. I have a value for dy dt, so I'll just plug it in and we get dx dt equals 5 over 11 times uh, 4, dy dt is 4 feet per second. So we'll get uh, dx dt equals 20 over 11 feet per second. And uh, if we wanted a decimal approximation for that, I'll find one. It's, uh, let's see, 20, oops. 20 divided by 11 equals 1.82, or it's approximately. So we could say that sh that the the her length, the rate at which the length of her shadow is changing as as she walks away from the light is approximately 1.82 feet per second. Depending on your professor, they might just want. They probably a lot of times they won't care, but a lot of times when we do related rates, we go ahead and say get an approximation because it's physics related and science people like decimals. Sorry.